So we're over here at a brand new roller compactor. It's kind of cool. So the roller compactor actually have rollers on the bottom. And what is the rolling compactor for then? So this is our new paver roller. Okay. The idea of the paver roller is to minimize any chance of chipping or cracking or scratching on top of the pavers. Okay. This is not for the base of the foundation. We use the standard compactor for that. So There's a, a small version. This is yep. our smallest standard compactor, as you can say. So you'd use a small compactor first for the base. Or any or any base suit. So this is a very common one if you can see it on your screen. Yep. So that's a normal size one. Right. And the guys run this around. And this is great for doing your base. This one in the middle, for instance, in the base, big picture that you see is about 3,500 pounds of hit. Therefore, it's giving, going to give you about three and a half inches of lift. Very cool. So that's great for pedestrian traffic or twice, and you can do vehicular traffic. Okay. And I, I apologize, your first name was? Oh, my name is Rick. Thank you, Rick. So, and in the past, what we've done is we've taken a mat, something like this one, and in order to set the stone and consolidate the sand, we would put something like this on a roll on a compactor like I just showed you in the picture. Okay. Our problem with that system is that compactor that's hitting at about 35 inches lift is hitting awfully hard, and you still some run run some risk of cracking or chipping. Okay. And it's also sliding rather than rolling, so there is still minimal risk of scratching. Okay. The biggest problem we're having is they, they lost this or they forgot to put it on because they're taking it on and off. Yeah, we see that all the time where they actually use um, carpet underneath. So it. If, if we're lucky, at least they might have thrown something down. Right. Maybe some carpet. Yep. Maybe some cardboard. Or some people use a bunch of plywood. It's likely to scratch. Yep. Every time? No. But the one time that it scratches, chips, or cracks, and that customer doesn't want to pay, Exactly. Now we have a problem. And then you gotta switch them out. Now so. you gotta switch them out and finish it the same way, more carefully maybe, I don't know. How are you <laughs> not going to do that on the next time you do it? Yep, so on the rolling compactor, can you use this on the brand new porcelain pavers? Yes, it's actually very good for porcelain pavers, even large slabs. Okay. Especially on particular one I showed you, has five rollers on it. Okay. We're Let's the take only a look. ones who make one with five rollers on the bottom. Okay. The standard on the market, and we make it too, is a four roller. Oh. And so what is the roller made out of? So that, that roller on the outside has a polyurethane material. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's a little even more heavy duty than the urethane mat that we normally use. Awesome. But that means that it's not going to scratch because it's a rolling polyurethane. Right. We're also only hitting at about 2,300. It's not enough lift for base even if you could do it, yeah. but it's wonderful amortizing that energy out across those pavers and consolidating that sand. So they actually get, they can use it to set the stone and they can use it to consolidate the sand. Sounds good. Well, very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. I've been, asked a, I've been asked a lot of times about um, different questions about porcelain and regular concrete pavers. I'm always looking for something new. This is cool. This is a very nice piece of equipment. A lot of people don't know we have it yet. Well, awesome. All right, and again, you're from I'm Bartel? I'm with Bartel. Awesome. Yes. All right, well, they're, and they're available here at Resource. At Resource, they'll have them here in about eight weeks. Okay, and what's a rough retail cost? Retail cost on this is about 3900 Okay. Uh, I think that on the four roller resources, planning on selling them for about 37 all right, so thirty-seven hundred dollars to do it right for for a crew. If they bought one of these that gets thirty-five hundred that they're using for the base down, put it on a mat, they're at about twenty-five hundred. Yeah. So for about a thousand more investment, they're going to get the right job, the right equipment for the right job. Right, and it's not going to move because the biggest thing of porcelain I found is problems with porcelain moving over time, and this is a great solution. So assuming it's sand set. Exactly, it needs to be sand set and not mortar set. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to flip this around. So again, I'm at Resource. That's a little bit of information I didn't know and I was waiting to find this out. So Rick was happy enough and, and uh, working with me and Bartel has the right equipment to get things done. So anyway, Dave Pratt, you know how to follow me. Press subscribe. 714-588-8634. I'm out.